the Filipinas yeah, in her dominance. Yeah, interesting, yeah. And, hey, uh, we're, we're giving them a little bit of a Filipino history. Yeah, well, and, uh, <laughs> Mexicans, not too many Mexicans here in Hawaii, which is why they could be calling, you know, uh, a Mexican a fake Filipino, because there's not that many of them here. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Panoy Fraud is using uh, Android 21 or, uh, or Chick Majin. <laughs> Majin with, with boobs. Majin uh, with boobs. There you go. That's the name we're going to put in. Majin with boobs. Majin with boobs. <laughs> Majin boobs. Majin boobs there. Yeah. <laughs> right now, things not looking good for Majin boobs. <laughs> kinda, uh, oh, about to switch, switch out soon. Uh, yeah, Naomi is totally dominating uh, right now. Naomi gave him no chance to switch out. Like, nope, your Majin boo is dead. <laughs> Oh no, Naomi really dominating, showing why he's the top player. Definitely. Oh, man. wow! Oh my goodness, just running away with this right now. Just stop it, stop it. Give the man a chance. <laughs> oh man, it's, yeah, it's it's pretty much a slaughter right over here. Oh, oh sw switching okay. it out. He did give him a chance there. Let him let him switch out. Mm -hmm. Let him recover some health. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. forces it back out. He's like, nope, just kidding. <laughs> Not giving you any chances here. Oh, yeah. I think that was like a really bad plan, switching Bardock out, especially still trying to recover. But, yeah, there goes his Bardock. Yeah. And, uh... Things not looking good for Phoenix Fraud right yeah, now. Just remember, he still has like a three specials and sparking still available. So anything can happen right up here. Well, gotta try to take it one fighter at a time. Gotta get rid of that first one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but. Oh. 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 Oh, and yeah, another dominant air combo. Oh, Jesus just Christ. Out the dash attack. Naomi extending the combo there. Yeah. This could be it. That's it. Ah, uh, wow. One. Convincing yeah, round one yeah, victory this, by Naomi. This, yeah, this was this round was actually a slaughter. I'm pretty sure. I'm. I'm. I'm no, I know Pinoy Fraud can actually come back. He's actually a better player than this. Yeah. Now oh, it's about what kind of adaptations can Pinoy Fraud do. Oh, right. I mean, it's really hard to read Naomi. I mean, uh, Naomi has actually originally came from the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 community, and you know how hardcore they are with the uh, hyper fighters, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you know, uh, and uh, Naomi. Um, he's actually one of the top uh, hyper fighter players in Hawaii and in the United States. Oh my goodness! So, wow. So, so he's yeah. What is the natural then at these fighting games? Right. So you know, when when it comes to um, hyper fighter type of fighting games such as this, Marvel vs. Capcom or Arc System Work games like Guilty Gear and Blast Blue, you'll actually be seeing him playing those. Speaking oh. of Marvel vs. Capcom, what's your thoughts on Marvel vs. Capcom and Infinity getting snubbed out of Evo this year? What's your thoughts? Um, man, it was <laughs> it was you know, gonna it, it was gonna happen because you know a lot, I mean that thing had such bad press. Yeah, so did. I'm actually not a, not surprised honestly. It <laughs> did. You know, one thing that Marvel's Capcom Infinity did not capture is the casual audience and the viewership. I mean, it's a great fighting game, good fundamentals. It is. But it in order is. to be a good fighting game, you got to have viewers. It has to be fun to watch. People right. have to want to watch it. This I, is why Fighter Z does so well, Tekken does so well, Smash does so well, and yeah. my Marvel and Capcom Infinity didn't do so well. This is not fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's actually rumors going on that in August, um, the the servers are actually going to be cut, and the game the game is not even a year old, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's a fairly uh, new game, and um, you know, they got a lot of thinking to do. Are they going to make it more like Marvel's Capcom 2, very flashy specials all over the place, a lot of characters, or are they going to, you know, continue down? Down this downhill trend. <laughs> I mean, uh, who knows, man? Um, best thing that I think um, uh, Capcom can do is probably like make another game and actually please what the fan, you know, what the fans actually want. Because you know, a lot of fan favorites from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 are missing, like Doom, Wolverine, Storm. Yeah, um, a lot of those uh, characters were actually fun uh, fundamental base in yeah. order to, uh, for mix-ups and such. That's true, and. Uh... You know, they failed to add a lot of X-Men in the game, too. You know, no right. Wolverine. It, it's kind of hard to see a Marvel's Capcom game without Wolverine. <laughs> staple right. in every single Marvel superhero game. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and also, you know, but you're right. They could do that, Keith. They could do what they did with Marvel's Capcom 3 and make an ultimate version, which yeah. fixed everything that was wrong with <laughs> number 3, you know? I mean, if Capcom wants to be in uh, a lot of people's good braces, um, 
just uh, do it free via update. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. They could do a free update and uh, maybe could revive the game a little bit. I mean, we'll see. It's up to Capcom. Right, right. Um, but any, anyhow, Naomi. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it, um, yeah. Pinoy Fraud is actually coming back over here. Wow, I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, like, um, yeah, I mean, Marvel versus Capcom is such a major subject uh, throughout the fighting game community right now. How come it's not uh, doing so well? In all honesty, I'm not surprised. You know, it had such terrible press from everybody. That's true. <laughs> Including the, you know, fighting game hardcore. That's true. So. It was very, very true. All right. all right. We're down to the last fighter here. Pinoy Fraud still can come back. Um. Uh, He's, he still has sparking, and remember, sparking is such a critical part of this game, right? Yeah, spark can be a huge game changer. Right, and we saw that with Justin versus Wang Bus earlier. But hasn't used it, and it's over. Right. Good stuff to Naomi. Pinoy Fraud uh, adapting a little bit better in the second round there. Right. But no, just not enough to beat the reigning champion, Naomi. Mm -hmm.